What's going on, everybody? I'm here in Chapel Hill. Well, actually, Carboro. I'm going to take you to my great great grandparents' grave and tell you more about them as we go along. Um, I'm here actually behind the cat's cradle where I'm about to see a concert, and uh, I'll tell you more about that, you know, in a, another video. But now, I'm, but I want to show you uh, this, and uh, Julie, uh, this is for you since you love my cemetery video so much, and and uh, we're about to embark upon, yeah, my great-great-grandparents. And I'll tell you some, uh, of, you know, the story on them, and or what I know at least. And um, I, I have some pictures of them as well, so that's kind of cool. They replaced the fence since the last time I was here. It was an old rickety fence, but... You know, the um, strange thing about this is they are the first graves you come to. Like, they weren't the first burials here. They died in the mid-1900s. And this is Beulah and Klimath Head. Now, Klimath Clifton Head was, I believe, the fifth or sixth mayor of Carborough. And, of course, Beulah would have been the first lady of this fine town, they you see before you now back then in the early 1900s Carborough was in was a poor mill town now Chapel Hill was where all, where the rich people lived and Carborough was uh yeah a, a mill town a logging town uh you know uh, uh yeah basically basically that you know a lot of people that were you know worked at uh you know where the Carmel Mall is now uh, you know, that was a textile mill. You know, text, North Carolina was filled with textile mills back in the 18 and 19, uh, 1900s. And, um, yeah, actually a good portion of the 1900s. And some still exist today, but... Yeah, I have actually a picture of them with their children. And the baby on my great-great-grandmother Beulah's lap is... Mary Hollingsworth, my great grandmother, who wrote a book that I, I, I really loved. I'm glad I finally read it in its entirety. How long the heart remembers about her life growing up in the Georgia mountains, actually uh, Dahlonega. And uh, coincidentally, I am heading to Dahlonega in a couple months for my buddy Bryce's wedding. I'm actually going to be in it, and I guess what, what a small world, you know. I mean. Because actually, one of the chapters in her book is actually Dahlonega. It, reading the book, though, it made me think a little house in the prairie, you know, like the little church they would have went to. and and uh, But yes, uh, uh, but Clement Clifton Head wasn't mayor for very long. He was mayor for two years, I think, 1933 to 35, you know, so which would have been during the Franklin Roosevelt administration. This was their child. They had uh, quite many children. I um, I can't remember how many. Somewhere between seven and ten. But Bryce, this is, speaking of Bryce, this is uh, James Bryce. And he died at the age of, um, he didn't quite make it to seven. He was born in 1920 and died in 1927. I, was, I heard he was sliding down a sliding board and he hit his tooth. And died from blood poisoning. You know, back then they didn't, you know, the medication, uh, you know, wasn't quite what it is now. But sadly, the lamb's head, the head on the lamb broke off. I hate to think somebody did that, but it could have happened, you know, just from time. Sleep in Jesus. A lot of, you know, it seems like a lot of babies and uh, toddlers and children have the lamb on their grave. Now, when, before they moved, uh, you know, when they lived in Georgia, he was clerk of court in, um, in, uh, in Dahlonega, Georgia, in the, in, the count, in the county in that in that town. Right now, I can't think of the county right now, but um, 
Lumpkin, Lumpkin County just came to me. And actually that, uh, that, that particular town was known for uh, being a gold mine. That's where the gold mine of, of the East happened. Like one of the first uh, big gold mines was in Dahlonega where people started mining for gold and found gold in that particular town. And there's monuments all around, little, uh, uh, little uh, placards, you know, that talk about, discuss people finding gold. So it's, it's kind of cool that how they were kind of lumped in with all of this. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was neat reading that book, the book that Mary Hollingsworth wrote. Now, Mary is, uh, Mary Hollingsworth, my great grandmother is buried at another cemetery in Carborough where a lot of my family is buried. So yeah, another time I'll do, you know, we'll, we'll go there, you know, when I have more time. Now, Klimath and Beulah also had a farm, and Klimath, uh, yeah, he plowed fields and had a farm, and, uh, you know, uh, the book she, uh, that Mary Hollingsworth wrote, uh, yeah, it was, it was, you know, kind of sad, you know, I mean, they had, they had hard times, they lost their farm uh, uh, at one point, and uh, they had a lot of hardships, you know, especially, you know, back then, and having all the children, um, they had to go live in South Georgia for a while. And eventually they, uh, t towards the end of the book, by train, of course, they, they moved and they headed, uh, for Durham, North Carolina. And it, yeah, it was kind of sad. Mary, my uh, grandmother, she, she discussed how sad she was leaving her home, you know, um, but she made this home, and actually she studied. She actually went to UNC, I believe. Yeah, for, I don't know if she graduated, but she did study there. It does say on the internet. There's a little bit about her, you know, not much. But uh, the book, though, it was, it was really interesting. And it was, it was also interesting how she changed the names of the family. Um, you know, she kind of used different names, you know, and people do that a lot, you know, even in a biographical type of novel. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you next time.